Okay guys, so today we have a Dell Inspiron 530. Uh, my father used to have one of these, you've probably seen it on the channel before. But that had a Q6600 quad core, which was pretty good processor, and 4 gigs of RAM. This has 1 gigabyte of RAM, and a 1.6 gigahertz Intel Celeron with either 1 or 2 cores, I have no idea. It also has Windows Vista, which I'm just going to block the code, but it's home basic, not home premium. So it's, yeah, it's it's not good. But my aunt, this is my aunt's computer, my aunt gave me 50 euro and said, pretty much fix it. She thinks it has a virus. The DVD router doesn't work. Uh, I, I say there's more than a virus on it. There's every malware under the sun. So let's see what we can do with 50 euro. Okay, so um, first let's try and get a case. Uh, like I said before, my father used to have one of these. He never liked the look of it. And in fact, the last thing we bought for his computer was the case because he didn't care what he got as long as it was nicer looking than this. So um, it does have a Windows Vista sticker. That it is handy, but we are going to just throw in this Windows Seven. Uh, that's that's already a step up. <laughs> so let's get into the case. Okay, so for the case, we had no idea what what to buy with the fit with this fifty euro. Uh, so we were thinking to ourselves, like, wouldn't it just be really really handy if we had something like oh I don't know maybe. An Antec VSK 4000E just lying around in the room. It's like magic. And imagine, to make this computer better, imagine if there was like a DDR2 system with a Pentium, the Pentium D 3.6, 3.6 gigahertz. Uh, Dual core, better than the Celeron, 2 gigs of RAM rather than 1, a better motherboard, a, what, 400 watt power supply rather than a 3? Um, so yeah, I think, uh, I think this was, this was our lucky day. Okay, so, um, so, we're not using onboard graphics, we want to make this a step up, not a step in the same direction. So we were thinking to ourselves, wouldn't it be great if we had like, I don't know, maybe a Radeon HD 3470? A 250 megabyte card, that'll be perfect for browsing the internet. But oh no, it doesn't have an IO plate. Well, I just find it hilarious that we recently had a DOA uh, Radeon 4890 that just conveniently has a DVI in the exact same place this card has a DVI in. So basically we can just put that on there. It doesn't look pretty but it'll work because we're never going to use the display port. Uh, the only monitor that she has has that. has DVI. So Already, you can see there is a huge improvement in terms of performance and software, everything. Everything's better. Okay, so this has no DVD, uh, DVD rewriter or hard drive. Now, the DVD rewriter in this may be broken, but I think I might be able to fix it. And this does have a hard drive. So, we have everything we need except for an exhaust fan but you know what we we have a red led fan lying around so why not make this look really really nice and just like throw in a nice cit 120 mil slightly dusty but it'll work red led fan we can just throw that on there it'll work perfectly fine and yay Okay, so uh, we're just going to pull off this 
side panel. Now uh, we gave this a dusting out, and let's just say there was a there was a lot of dust. Here we can see it is a SATA hard drive, and it is a SATA a DVD writer. So that can be they could be salvaged. Everything else can go. Case can go. Everything. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to go to town, and uh, I'll come back to you when I have this done. Okay, so uh, here we have DVD writer and their hard drive. It's a 250 gigabyte hard drive, and uh, hopefully we can get this running again. So here we have our um, our PC in Yangtec. So that's two one gigabyte sticks of uh, DDR2 memory. We have this. Uh, this PC cooler, CPU cooler, the brand is actually called PC cooler, and uh, that's just on a Pentium D945, uh, I believe. So that'll do adequate cooling. Put our graphics card in there. We have two slots already taken out for it. So we're pretty much ready to put whatever we need to put in here in. And that's it. Okay, so now we're just gonna put in the uh, the oh wow, <laughs> in my hand, put in the DVD router. Now we just gotta line this up. Do that until it's flush. Okay, so here is what we have done. So we have our SATAs connected down here as well. Uh, I know it's not very pretty, but it's not meant to look very nice. It's just meant to be better than her older computer. So now we're gonna move on to the car. So we're going to um, we're going to mad scientist something together. That's how you speak, right? So, we have this little tool for standoffs, and it fits perfectly over these. And so we can just... And then, we just place that there. Okay, so uh, we have that on. It's much easier when you can put it down and concentrate on it rather than having to point at the camera. So now, all we have to do is we have to turn it. Now, if you're looking at what we just did with this, you might be thinking, why are you doing that? You're wasting a perfectly good display for it. Well, the reason we're doing this is because the only monitors she has in the entire house either have they either have VGA, DVI or she has a TV with HDMI so the only thing that we have on this is DVI display port it would just be futile to keep there so at least we have something there that she can use and if you wanted to you could just quit it out it wouldn't really ruin anything. But yeah. You can also see that we uh we put on the LED fan. And yeah, so the system's pretty much done. You have to boot it up and get everything installed and whatnot. Okay, so as I as I was saying, the fact that she only has like DVI and VGA monitors. We only have VGA, and that's because we both use TVs as our monitors. Mainly because they're cheaper, and they do just the exact same job. And so we have to use a DVI to VGA adapter. Okay, so now we're going to, uh, we're going to set the boot sequence. 
So first is going to be the CD-ROM. Second should be the hard drive and third we don't have a floppy drive. So just press 10. Okay, so uh, we're as you can see we're installing Windows and I think the the DVD with readers uh, a bit slow because it's taking a lot more time than normal. So uh, I was just looking at the system there for a few minutes and uh, I have to say, although it's old and it's DDR2 and stuff, it's actually got a nice little system like yeah, your red LED fan which is which actually looks kind of nice now because it is getting kind of dark and it's a faster processor than, than was in it it actually has a graphics card twice the amount of RAM so yeah it turned out to be a pretty good system and for only 50 quid I'm happy with it okay so Windows is installed as you can see, it it gets rated a 4.1, which honestly is more than I thought it was gonna get. I was expecting low threes. Uh, it is it is activated. It's a genuine copy of Windows. As you can see, our processor gets 5.1. Our RAM gets 5.5. Graphics. 4.1 our gaming graphics get 5.5 and our our uh, hard drive gets 5.9 our lowest score being 4.1 that's what your score is based off now I'm just going to And well, that is pretty much how you refurbish an old Dell for 50 euro dollars, 40 pounds if you're in the UK. And yeah, the only thing I have to say is, uh, well, she's lucky she's my favorite aunt. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I, I genuinely am.